everyone, Tina here. Welcome to Photo Place YouTube channel and welcome to Tuesdays with Tina. I'm so glad you're here today and I'm excited to share a project with you using some brand new items from the Say It With Stamps collection. Uh, we are going to be using the Say It With Stamps Birch Tree Stencil Set. I love the size of these. These are so perfect for so many different size cards. Slimline cards, mini slimlines, 5x7s, 6x6s. Um, a2 size. I just love the size of this. This is a two-piece stencil set, so I think it's going to be neat to create some fun birch trees for our background. For my sentiment, I'm going to bring back the Autumn Word Trio die set. Love this. There's a sentiment in here that says warm hugs, and I just associate that with, with birch trees, so we're going to use that for our sentiment. We are also going to, normally we do A2 size cards, we're going to switch it up and do a mini slimline card. And this is a brand new die set that's perfect for those. This is the number six bracket and charms die set. A lot of mini charms here, I already separated some of them, but there's some little mini tags and then two background dies with a real pretty bottom edge that will fit perfectly on the set with stamps mini slimline cards. And speaking of mini slimline cards, that's what I'm going to be using today for my my project. I love that there's 10 in a pack of here. The price point on these are, are wonderful. Um, and these are actually three and a half inches wide by six and a quarter inches tall. And it coordinates beautifully with the dies. And then I don't have to figure out what envelope to use because the Say It With Stamps collection has the number six white envelopes too, which makes it pretty easy peasy. <laughs> okay, we are going to do a little bit of stenciling first and then we'll do some die cutting. I mentioned before that this is a two-piece stencil set. They are, they are indexed on the very top. This is stencil A and then this is stencil B which makes it really nice. Um, I'm going to flip these around so the index is facing my mat and then I'm going to spray the back at least with this one. Actually we'll do both with uh, Pixie Spray. Pixie Spray is a low tech, let me show you, a low tech adhesive spray and it makes stenciling super easy especially when you see the little fine details of the birch tree. The Pixie Spray will help tack that down to our paper. Okay, I have a piece of cardstock. I just trimmed it with my paper trimmer. I don't even know the measurements. I just wanted to make sure that it was big enough so when I die cut out my border die here that it, it will fit. So we are going to create a background with our birch trees. I'm going to go ahead and line this up. And you know what the best way it is to do is put it corner to corner. That way my second piece I can just line up corner to corner and I know it's where it's supposed to go. That's a little cheat sheet there. <laughs> okay, once we have our stencil A adhered to our cardstock, I'm going to bring in some inks. Now birch trees are again are, well, are normally um, on a white tone, but I want it to show up in my background. So I'm going to be using a light tan ink. And then I'm going to do the detail piece with a brown ink. I think that's going to work out perfect. And I'm going to do a little ink blending just using my blending brushes. And I'm not even going to bother bringing in my craft mat. And if I miss some spots, I'm, I'm not worried about it because I kind of like, you see how there's lighter and darker areas. I think that's just going to go perfect with birch trees. Okay, we have our first layer done. Let's remove our stencil. And I think that just looks wonderful. Next, we'll take our next stencil. And I mentioned we would put it in the corner. This is how we know it's going to line up beautifully. It's because we just line it up from corner to corner. And it does the work for you. For the detail layer, this is stencil B. Oops, I'm going to take my blending brush and just go over it. And just these little bits just add so much to those birch trees. 
Okay, I think this is wonderful. We'll put this away. And since I have my stencil already on my my paper, I like to wipe my stencil off. So we are good to go. And then we can do the reveal of our beautiful birch trees. I just love this. Okay, now that we have our birch trees done, we're going to go ahead and take our number six bracket and charms die set. We're going to take the smallest background and die cut out our birch trees. We're going to find a pretty spot here. I think that's in a great spot. Let's tape this down. I'm going to go ahead and run this through my die cut machine. And then we're going to have a pretty neat background for our card. So our birch tree background is all done. We're going to go ahead and do a little bit of stamping. I want to bring in some snowflakes to create my winter card. And to do that, I'm going to bring in an older stamp set from the Say It With Stamps collection. This is called Christmas Cookies. We're not going to use the cookies. I want to use the snowflake. Um, you can create a snowflake cookie, but I'm just going to make a snowflake with it. So we're going to stamp with a blue ink on some white cardstock. And I'm going to stamp it three times. The nice thing is you don't have, oops, I kind of went hand heavy handed with it. Perfect. Now, I'm going to take the coordinating die and die cut out my snowflake. And while we're die cutting, I'm going to die cut out warm hugs with some red cardstock. And in my Christmas cookies stamp set, there is a coordinating die set that we're going to use to cut out our snowflakes. And we're also going to use the heart that's in here. Although I'm not going to stamp the heart, I do want a red heart. I'm in our bracket and charms die set. I'm going to be using this little tag here, the smallest one. And I'm going to die cut this out with some craft colored cardstock. I'm keeping these together. And I don't mind cutting a few out. I just put them in the back of my my storage packet. This way I have lots of extras. And then there is also a little uh, reinforcement that I'm going to die cut out with white cardstock. So I have a bit of die cutting to do. When I'm all done, I will be right back. Here is my fabulous warm hugs. I mentioned this before, but I love the scripty with the, the block letters, the lower glaze block letters. I just think it's super cute. <laughs> okay, there's my warm hugs. Now I want this to kind of float on my card, and that's why we created some snowflakes to do that. To do um, the floating sentiment, it's very easy. I'm going to add some adhesive behind the left and the right of my warm hugs. And then I'm going to place my snowflakes where I want them, kind of overlapping them, I think. I think that's a good spot. And then we're going to tack our sentiment to our snowflakes. And then, since we have adhesive on this side, we're going to add our next snowflake. And I think that's a good spot. This way, all the smaller areas behind it, um, it will look like it's floating, basically. We're going to go ahead and put some adhesive behind our snowflake. So our sentiment is all good. Now I do want to bring in some natural twine. Um, I already put foam adhesive behind my panel. So what we're going to do is remove the release paper. And I'm going to add my twine. I'm going to wrap it around a couple times, kind of crisscrossing a little bit. And I think that's going to work out great. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and tack this down to my card base. Now I trimmed off the end of my twine, and then what we're going to do is take that extra that's left over, and I'm going to thread this through. Actually, we have our little reinforcement. I'm going to let's punch out the inside of our reinforcement, and we'll go ahead and add a little bit of glue around the whole of our tag. I'm calling it a tag, but it's actually a little charm because they're so small. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. Just think that's adorable. <laughs> okay, so we're going to add our twine through our tag. And then I'm not going to tie a bow just yet. Now the reason I trimmed off the extra from here is because I'm not sure where I want my tag. That's the beauty of a tag is you can kind of place it wherever you want on that twine and it looks like it's attached. Once we have our, I'm going to lower this a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to take our sentiment, our floating sentiment, and I'm going to place this in the center here. And I'm actually going to scoot over my snowflake a little bit more. So it's covering that knot. Okay, we are going to... I already put foam adhesive behind my tag, my little charm. And then we're going to add this. And then we're going to tie our, our bow. For me, it's easier to tie when it's attached to my cardstock. Love these little charms. They're just so, so cute. And I'm going to trim off the twine here. And then I'm going to take my little heart that we die cut and we're going to add a small foam square behind here. And this is going to go in the center of our, our little charm. How fun is that? Last but not least, I do want to embellish the card a little bit. I want to bring in a little sparkle and I want to bring in some red glitter. And I'm going to go over our heart just lightly. So we have some sparkle to our heart. And then I'm going to add a little sparkle to our snowflakes also. And so I have some clear glitter. Actually, it's like an iridescent glitter. And I'm going to hit the little points that are on my snowflakes. And that will finish my project today with the Stay It With Stamps brand new Birch Tree Stencil, the Autumn Word Trio die set, and also our brand new number six bracket and charms die set. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me. If you guys are not subscribed to this channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Just click that subscribe button down there on the corner. And this way, every time a video pops up, you guys can be notified um, automatically. How about that? Have a wonderful day. We'll see you again next Tuesday. Thanks so much for stopping by.